welcome back to the Josh and Jacob Network, starring Maggie and Miles. Miles and Maggie. How about we do Eminem with that work? Okay, that works. Now <laughs> Now, to start us off, we have Caleb with a story about peace. Well, hello, Children's Church and everybody who is watching this, uh, this morning. Um, we are going to be talking about a story that is talked about often in this time of year of Christmas, and it is the story of Jesus coming to earth and being born. So we're looking in chapter 2 of the book of Luke, and we're going to be talking about uh, when Jesus is just born, and he's, he's in a stable and in a little manger wrapped up in cloth. And there's this time where these angels come out of the sky and talk to these shepherds. And so we're going to look at what those uh, angels said to the shepherds. So you can follow along here in uh, the book of Luke, chapter 2. And we'll start off in verse 6. Joseph and Mary are already in Bethlehem. And um, so this is where the story takes off. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And now we get to the shepherds. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. So we have this peaceful scene where the shepherds are out in their fields watching their, their little sheep and then all of a sudden a very unpeaceful thing comes. It's an angel that comes out of the sky and this bright light shines down around these shepherds. And all of a sudden the angels start talking. In verse 10, But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. So we have these angels here who are talking to these shepherds. And they're explained to him that they're going to go find this, this Savior, this little baby that's born, and he's wrapped in some cloths. And so the angels now, a bunch of them, come together, and they start singing out, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Now continuing on the story here, verse 15, When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at, the shepherds, at what the shepherd said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. So the shepherds went and they found this baby and they thought, wow, it's all true. And then they, they left praising God and tell, telling everybody about what they had just seen. So what those angels mentioned about Jesus was they said that there would be peace on earth for all that God's favor rests on. And what we're talking about in the theme here during this season is, is peace. And that's our, our fruit of the Spirit, peace. And the angels are claiming, and all along in the Old Testament and the New Testament, it's talked about as Jesus being peace. So we have this little baby who is um, a gift to us and a gift of peace, that this baby will bring pre peace on earth to us and peace in our hearts with God. In John, the book of John, chapter 14, verse 27, uh, it says, Jesus is talking with his disciples, and he's explaining to them that he's like, peace I will leave with you, 
My peace I give you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Jesus was just about to leave his disciples, but he's saying, I leave something with you. I leave you with peace. I give you peace. And you know what? He's like, I am the one who can give you something that the rest of the world cannot. He says, I am peace myself, and I am giving you a part of myself. I will be with you. Therefore, you don't need to be afraid, and don't be timid. If we were to define what peace is, if you're a little confused, I looked up a definition and I found an easy one that's easy for me to understand. It's, it's a state of harmony or a quiet or calm that is not disturbed by anything at all. So if you can just picture like a still lake or a pond where everything's completely still and it's all peaceful. And then if you were to take a rock like you do whenever you come around some water and you throw a rock into the water, what happens to the water? All these ripples happen. The peace is disturbed. It's no longer peaceful. So like those shepherds, when the, the sky was opened up and the angels came down, they were so peaceful. But all of a sudden, the peacefulness was disturbed. So we can talk about peace as like peace in the world where there's like no more hurricanes or tsunamis or tornadoes or volcanoes erupting. There's lots of things that aren't peaceful in nature. Um, we can talk about peace in the world, uh, like with people, there's no more wars or fighting against people or peace between your siblings or you're getting along with your brother or sister where things are peaceful with them. And then there's also peace between us and God. And that's what this Jesus is. He is making, he's opening up the door so that we can have peace with God because we are all sinners and we are, we are separated from God. And Jesus is being a gift to us where we can once again have peace with God. It's an, it's an amazing thing that we can have peace with God. So I'll leave you with that. Let me pray with for you guys and you guys can continue on. Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, for your gift of peace that you've given us. Um, this, this baby Jesus, who is our Lord and Savior, who came to be sacrificed to die on a cross so that we could have peace with you, Lord. We thank you for that, and I pray that we can uh, each and every day understand a little bit more of who you are and understand that your peace is something that rests on us uh, forever as long as we are um, following you, Lord. So give us the heart and energy to serve you and serve the others around us. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen. See you later, guys. Thank you, Caleb, for that awesome story about peace. He looked really peaceful in that rocking chair. I agree. Maybe we should make some changes, don't you think? Yeah. Well, here on JJN, I mean m, m we don't just tell the news, we make you tell the news. So take a minute and pause the video and talk about what you just learned. I don't think Caleb was that comfortable. Wake up. Uh, and now it's time for the, the Fine Art, Art Report. <laughs> and this is Fine Art from Gideon. And as you can see, the electric yellow of that angel. Very beautiful. And this fine art is from Zeke. As you can see, he has put Daniel, a lion, and an angel. What does that equal? Whew. What a relief. The angel showed up in a great time.
is from Africa. And this is from Maverick. Here, there's a very peaceful angel. It almost looks like he was taking a nap, just like Miles did earlier. This is beautiful. Oh, how wonderful that artist's picture is. Just so bright and perfect. And everything just shines. And it's just oh, beautiful. You know that's yours, Miles. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, that's fancy. <laughs> now, I think this one is truly the best. Um, look how beautiful that angel is. Mary is just in awe of this angel. Now, who, who's this one from? It's, uh, it's you, Maggie. Uh, oh! Oh, oh, that's pretty. How come you're hugging all the blankets? This has been Fine Art, Art Report. verse is from Mrs. Odell. Hi kids, nice to see you again. This is our third week on peace and so I, um, I kind of went back into some of what was in last week's extra study lesson, uh, the Isaiah passage, and so I just wanted to be sure that you guys got a chance to really think about what that Old Testament prophecy by Isaiah, like six, seven hundred years before Jesus was even born, really means for us. So I'm going to read it for you and then we'll explain a little and then we'll go back and, and work on the memorizing part. But um, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, the authority to rule will rest on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And that's from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Isaiah 9, 6. So Caleb was sharing with you about um, how the shepherds got the news that Jesus was going to bring peace to the earth. Um, glory to God in the highest and peace to the people. Well, if the, the angels are, are, are saying that peace needs to come, then it kind of indicates there's not peace. But peace is in a person because the baby was the peace. So Jesus, as the Prince of Peace, we have to know who he is. He's named all of these beautiful, wonderful names, but we have to know who he is in order to have the, the benefit of these characteristics and have that peace that God wants to give us, which is why he sent Jesus. We have to, to know him to be able to have that peace in our hearts, giving us comfort every day. So this baby that's born during this exciting time that we are celebrating now, which is Christmas, it's all about Christ. It's about his coming and God's peace, his gift of peace to us, because Jesus is the one who restores our broken relationship with God. He gives us the ability to have eternal, everlasting peace with our Father. So I just really wanted you guys to make sure that you knew that and understood that, that peace isn't a person. Peace is in relationship with Jesus and having him be our, our salvation and our restoration with God. So back to the memory verse. For to us a child is born. For to us a child is born. To us, a son is given. To us, a son is given. Here's the long one with the big long words. The authority to rule will rest on his shoulders. The authority to rule 
will rest on his shoulders. He will be named, he will be named Wonderful Counselor, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6. Ready to go again? Here we go. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, the authority to rule will rest on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, verse 6. I hope you guys take the time to work on this. This is so much a part of the Christmas story because it's God's story from beginning to end, from the very beginning in the Garden of Eden when sin entered the world all the way up to when Jesus comes again. These are names that tell us who Jesus is and what he wants to do for us and has already done for us. He's already come. He's already paid for our peace because of his death. And that's why we celebrate Christmas. Thanks, kids. Take care. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Taking a picture of the cat. That is one of my favorite Bible verses. Jesus has a lot of names. How many names does he have? Well, Miss Odell told us. If you weren't paying attention, you should watch that again. Anyways, don't forget to send in artwork and check out the Children's Ministry website. Well, we hope to see you at the Christmas Eve service on Thursday. Thanks for watching. The Miles and Maggie Network. Christmas Eve service. We hope to see you at the Christmas Eve service.